Hello everybody, Cookie here, and today we are going to be playing League of Legends. I just tried to record the intro for this, but it seems that my mic wasn't active, so I'm sorry for that. I'm going to turn my sound up for everybody. There we go. I finished what I started. For all that don't know, this is a game called League of Legends. It is a 5v5 fighting team match game, sort of, of types. This is for Nexus, our goal is to protect ours, and our main goal is to destroy theirs. Never look back. Just go over here. Minions have spawned. This is a little strategy, we're just uh, taking over their jungle buff, because this is going to help our jungle, the Master Yi. No. Yes. I am definitely going to be lowering the chat. <laughs> um. Alright, I'm going to be fighting a Akali. I believe her name is. Think back. Zon is the future. This is Morgana. I'm playing someone named Echo. He is a. I don't really know the lore, but he's fun to play, and it's really kind of sneaky at times. And it looks like they didn't know that it happens. Okay. I hope everyone enjoys the content, and if you do, please subscribe and comment. If you have any more video ideas, please let me know in the comments uh, section, and I'd love to know. we are. I'm not doing that bad so far. Could be better. But you know. It's pretty good in game. Not much we can do right now. Keeping her on her toes right now. Being a little aggressive. I feel like League of Legends gets a bad rep for a salty community, and I can understand that. Parts of it are salty, but at the same time, there's also a good part. What game doesn't have a salty part of their community? I'm going to die here, aren't I? Yes, I am. Ooh. Sorry for that. Here we are. Uh, you can build items by collecting coins, by you can collect coins by killing monsters which are in jungle, killing minions. Uh, enemy champions are these little side bosses, which are side objectives, which give you buffs that can help you win in short term or long term, depending on which one you get. Here we are. I'm not doing that bad right now, but I'm not doing the best I could be either. Let's just use that. His Q just, uh, if you can't realize, uh, these little moves are connected to your keyboard, and Q, W, E, R are your main abil uh, abilities. Every character has their own set of abilities, and there's 
lots of characters. I think there's over a hundred people, and you can build those characters however you want to. There are guides to help you decide how to play a character, but it's all really up to you. We are. Once we get to level 6, here we are, we get our ultimate, which will help us. Echo's ultimate, the guy I am playing, will allow him to turn back time, and while he teleports, it's kind of like Tracer's ability from Overwatch. If you don't know, Overwatch is kind of like a same type thing, like a 6v6, I think, instead. But it'll allow him to do what Tracer does. Rewind in time, and then he will make deal damage, restoring health as well at the same time for himself. Oh my. Sorry for being a little quiet, I'm just trying to focus here on... Not dying. <laughs> Looks like Jungle's actually asking for assistance at Drake. That is Drake, for all that must know. It is a dragon. How much mana do I have? I am running slightly low on mana. Which is not good for me, because... This... Uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> Sorry. Um, characters are built differently depending on what their fighting style is. Echo is a melee, but he also has ability power abilities. And with those abilities, he has to consume mana, which is that little blue bar under my green bar, which is my health. Down here, you'll see my stats for my character and with buying items I can increase those stats such as the blasting wand it increased my ability power by 40 echo is a ability power upgradable character I should say I should focus on ability power instead of physical damage because that will just uh, aid us in the long run We are. Yep, I'm coming down. I'm going to recall actually, because I'm not much help with no mana. That's not good. Yep. This is a really fun game. I hope some of you that watch this can try it. It's on PC or computer, and I think there's a mobile version? I'm not so sure. They did not. They are not uh, sponsoring me. I cannot please you. That'd be amazing if they did. But I would highly suggest it. It's a really fun game. A little addicting, but it's really fun. I think I can get this kill on this person real quick. Oh yes, she creates a cloud of smoke and she'll try and assassinate you because she is an assassin, I believe. Oh boy. Look 
I'm going to try and assassinate this Echo, or just kill, I mean, uh, unalive her, sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Ooh, she's, she's scared. She knows I can finish her off. I'm going to try and end her real quickly, and it worked! Yay! While doing that, I have an opening. I'm going to recall. Here we go. Let my... Whenever you teleport back, which you can use with B or recall, as this game would like to say it, uh, it allows you to recall the base, which will heal your... Refill your health and refill your mana. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Time is any to act reckless. All right, this game's going good so far. Uh, if I should probably mention this games of League of Legends are not very short, unlike most. Uh, these require a bit more time to complete, uh, which can take up to 20 to 30 minutes. It's usually in the 20, it's between that range, but if the enemy team is not doing well or your team isn't doing well, you can forfeit early at 15 minutes, but that has to be a completely 100% unanimous vote, which means no one can be against it. Here we go. Got her. I'm going to try and get a few plates, which are these little sections. These are extra gold in the beginning game for you in case you do really good. Got a few plates, that's good. That gave me a lot of extra gold. Here we go. I'm going to go assist my team just in case enemy team comes back up. Yes, they are. Here we go. Whoops. That was a mistake. Here we go. I'm going to place that going up there. I'm going to recall. So I can buy my mythic, which is going to be a... It's one of the first items you should get after your little extra item. But this is going to be... Basically how your character builds. There's many different mythics that you can choose from. Uh, uh, here's every mythic. Uh... You can only own one of these at a time because they're so powerful. And then there's legendaries, which are just a step down from mythics, but those are what help you build every little, uh, your damage basically, which is ability power for Echo. Here 
Okay, here we go. Morgana, please. Thank you. I think I got lucky this game because this person is not overly pro. Which is good, because I'm not overly pro either, because I just don't have the time, for because I have school and such. Let's bait him out. Ooh, that's good. My little disc thing will apply right here, that's when it actually just goes. It stops moving forward, and then it'll slowly go that way, then it'll come back to me. Which is what I want him to run into. If possible. Darn. Ooh, that's a little bit of damage. <laughs> oh, it's not good for me. My team is going to come up behind her and do the damage. There we are. And I'm going to get tower with that. It's looking like the team might forfeit this game because we are ahead, not by much, but it's just enough to where they will get stressed. There we are. Uh, here's the leaderboard if anyone wants to see it. My team is on the right, enemy team is on the left. I'm not doing the best on my team, but I'm doing not the worst either. Let's get these boots, which can help me increase my movement speed and my magic penetration, which is very important for Echo. I will get part of that, and then... Can I wait? I won't wait. I'll just have to come back and get that. Uh, why am I waiting? I'll just teleport. I guess. No, I can wait. I can wait. I'm going to... Hi, Trenomir. Here we go. Here we are, we're going to get dragon with this. There we are. Looks like we are going to be winning this by the looks of it, but oh, it can always change because League is just like that. If you build a character a certain way, you can turn the game around completely. You can also sell items, so you can obviously sell that mythic of yours and get a different one that will help fit the right situation more. There we are. I might die, yes I will. Oops. There we are. We're going to get one kill out of that. I mean, one person's going to sleep for now.
this is a little mini-map I forgot to mention. Uh, the map will never change, but some items like the Drake might be changed because this is Chemtech Drake is brand new. It's with one of the newer seasons, along with Hextech Drake. It used to just be Cloud Mountain, well, Cloud Dra Drake, Mountain Drake, Eternal Drake, and Ocean Drake. But now there's two extras, which are Hextech and Chemtech, but there's also one boss Drake after you get every if you after you fill these that will give you Elder Drake, which is the best Drake in the game. Technically. No one keeps him I'm away for her right here. Here we are. These are one of the reasons I play Echo. I don't play him much, but I do play him every so often. He is a really fun character to play. I would very suggest it if you ever do play the game. I'm going to fall back so I can get my second item, or my third, I should say, which is my main item. I don't mean any of these little guys. I mean, like, Night Harvester or complete items. Such as that. This is a new item, Shadow Flame. It is really fun. It's really good for us, so it's going to help us to boost our ability power along with our health. And every item has its own little buff. Anything other than Mythics you can get two of, with the exception of Tear the Goddess, which gives you extra mana, which is why I have so much mana right now. go. I'm going to get this kill. No, I won't. I'm going to build Rabbit on Seth Cap, which is going to increase with Magical Opus, increase your total ability power by 35%. Sorry I'm being so inform informal. I feel like I should help people understand the game a bit more, if you never heard of it. Just to be helpful, so you can understand what's happening more often than not. Alright. All the time it won't be just me playing, it might be some one of my friends joining us as well, or a few, so if you guys want to see that, please let me know, because they love to be in a video with me, and I'd love them to be in a video with me as well, because they're really fun to play with, and they're really nice. I'm looking for the next enemy, which I do not know where it is, but I'm sure we'll see them in a second. I'm going to get bottom tower, if you can't see that already. That would be a fiddlesticks. That is his ult. Like I said, every character is built differently has their own special skills, and his is more of a fear. 
He is a demon, and he's like the strongest demon out of everyone, I believe. He's the oldest demon, I should say. And he is fear. There we go. Oh, that's not good. There we are. And I died, sorry. Sorry, I was just taking a drink of my yogurt thing. Breakfast or lunch. Yeah, it's lunch. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Your team has destroyed a turret. Team has destroyed an inhibitor. My Q does a lot of damage, 300. My W does. Oh! Oh, that is perfect. That would give me a shield. I didn't even realize about Echo. 200, and how much does this do? 700. Wow. We're doing insane damage to this Baron, which is the best buff in the game you can get currently. Baron does not last forever, but you can see its buff is right here. It gives all those buffs. It increases my physical and ability power damage. Here we go, we're gonna go in here and end them for this guy, he has class. Here we go, and we're, we won, just like that. 